Now, enough of the heart. What's the good of having a wonderful heart? We've got a little two minutes left before Ann comes on. We want to talk a little bit about the brain. But the brain is sort of important because 80, by the time we're 85 years of age, in Sweden or in this country, 50% of people have dementia. What kind of a reward is that for you know, working hard all your life to have this dementia? And where we really got some insight into this was in 2001 at the stroke meetings. Uh, let's see, Megan Leary and her team from the West Coast went to the stroke meetings in Miami. And they had looked at over 5,500 MRIs of the brains of Americans. And what they begin to find at age 50 in Americans on the MRI of the brain are these little tiny white spots, which we now know are little strokes. You're driving your car, you're sleeping, you're playing tennis, Zeppo, little stroke, big brain, tiny stroke, not a problem. Well, Maybe not until you're 65. And now you find yourself saying more often than before, oh, sweetheart, we're going to leave the car to you. <laughs> you kind of work. That's not. That happens. But now it's, you're 75. You had a, another 10 years of the good old American diet. And you look at her and you say, sweetheart, where did I leave the car? <laughs> <laughs> well, somehow you work your way through that. Another 10 years goes by. You look at her and you say, Are you my sweetheart? <laughs> I can't reverse that. You don't suddenly get dementia at age 85. You've been working hard since you probably were 10 or 12 years of age, heading down that trail. But for those, for those of you who can hear and understand what I'm saying now, tonight it's kale. <laughs> because imagine this oh I should share as, as one becomes more senior what do, you, what do you think happens to the brain it shrinks not everybody wants to have that happen is there anything we can do about it yes there are two parts of the brain that you can enlarge as you become more senior one is the hippocampus which has to do with memory and the frontal lobe which has to do with executive thinking. How do you do this? How do you make your brain enlarge? Exercise. If you're going to do it walking, it can't be just... <coughs> <laughs> you got to do this four times a week, maybe 20, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, at a pace where you're almost ready to really break a sweat. Or you can do it biking, or swimming, what have you. Uh, But here are all these little strokes. 90, I counted them once. Can you imagine a message going along, a nerve in your brain? Boom, it's a scar. I'll go to the right, scar, left, scar. Can't undo that. You've got to protect your brain. How do you really do it? Keep the nitric oxide high. If you're eating to protect high nitric oxide levels for your heart, you're also automatically doing it for the brain. This apparently also protects you from uh, some degree from Alzheimer's as well. 